Greetings and salutations. I'm Golden Kef, and I talk about any and all things entertaining. So if you didn't see Terrifier 3, don't worry. I won't be spoiling much. You'll still be able to see it with all the surprises intact. So Terrifier 3 needs no introduction. It's the third in a franchise that pretty much established itself in the Slasher Villain Hall of Fame, alongside Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, Freddy Krueger, and more. But there's a message hidden in the middle of it that I don't think many people picked up on. And I'm talking about the part where one of the characters named Mia fangirls about Art the Clown. This is known as hyperstophilia, and it is defined as a term that refers to a psychological phenomenon where a person becomes attracted or develops an obsessive fascination with somebody who has committed violent crimes, like a serial killer. Mia, who hosts a true crime podcast, pressures Sina into participating in an interview about Art's killing spree. But Sina lashes out at her, essentially saying she is traumatized and still suffers mentally from the ordeal, and that it is not something to be excited over. Mia later speaks with her boyfriend, Cole, and it just so happens Art is there listening in on their conversation. She says Art is the greatest serial killer since Jack the Ripper, to which Art is visibly flattered after hearing that. Cole says it sounds like she wants to frick him, to which she replies, I don't want to frick him. And funny enough, Art looks disappointed. Now after seeing that scene, I thought Art was going to show her mercy of some kind, but without going into too much spoilers, that doesn't happen, like, at all. What's shocking is that things like this happen in real life. You'll see plenty of examples of serial killers having their own fan base, idolizing, admiring, or even falling in love with them. Some even went on to marry serial killers. I'm no philosopher, but I don't think I have to elaborate too much on why this isn't good. It glorifies the worst possible kind of people, it really undermines the victims whose lives were lost, and the victims' friends and families are dealing with an unimaginable amount of emotional pain. And that's the message that you probably missed in Terrifier 3. But who knows, maybe a lot of other people also got it. Or maybe I'm just uh, digging way too much into this than I should be. But anywho, happy Halloween everybody, and be sure to go see Terrifier 3.